Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode of Honda Street Garage. And today we're going to see my new car. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat or uh, Instagram, you've probably kind of noticed what's been going on, maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm all the rumors that yes, I've sold my red hatch. Now, before you start screaming at the screen, why, why did you do that? Well, because to basically keep this channel going, I've always kind of took on project cars and done a swap or done certain things, and then eventually I move on to something else. And so this, Season five next year is really no different. So I can't wait to get started on this project. I have big plans for it. So here it is, take a look at it. Now, before you judge too much, of course, project cars at the very beginning are a little uh, boo-boo. They kind of look pretty terrible. And the thing is with this car is that the outside body probably has a little more damage and paint fade and things like that than I would like. However, the interior is about a 10 out of a 10 and the engine and engine bay and all that stuff is pretty much all original for the most part, other than the uh, headers and exhaust. The suspension is an eBay suspension and it is quite awful. Now anybody who was kind of following me on uh, Snapchat and Instagram probably saw the other two cars that I had for a little bit. Um, at first I sort of decided to go with, you know, two cars have a daily driver. One was a 99 uh, Civic CX, it was silver, it was all original, it got stupid gas mileage, you know, um, I was having to travel back and forth from South Carolina to Tennessee for work and things like that. And then I got kind of like a race car, which was a uh, 91 Civic hatch, which was Tahitian Green Pearl with a B20 swap, fun car. But the more I kind of thought about it, the more things kind of worked out was it was not really the best choice for me. And uh, so I kind of wanted something a little bit different to kind of build off of. And I've been really wanting like power windows and a sunroof for a while. I want to. I've wanted to go back to an Integra for a while. I've really missed having an Integra. Um, I've had a lot of great cars over the years. In fact, I think my last car count was... I've, I've had a well over 25 cars, Hondas, Acuras. And um, there's some really great ones that I got rid of that I wish I hadn't gotten rid of. A lot of cars that I really regret getting rid of were red, incidentally. And I'm not a big fan of red, actually. I had a 93 Civic Hatchback SI had a B18 swap and I really regret getting rid of that. It was red. I had a 91 hatchback, which you guys have seen on Honda Street Garage with the GSR swap. It was red. On the B20 VTEC in the summer video, I had a 95 Integra GSR. It was red. I regret selling that. And I've also had the biggest probably regret of getting rid of, but it kind of, it was time, was the, my uh, 88 Honda Civic Wagavan all-wheel drive that I did a uh, D15B swap on, which you can find, you can find in the videos if you go back and look. I did two engine swaps on that car. It was super fun and 
I'm so angry at myself for never really getting a chance to film it after it was painted and things like that, but I'll put a picture up of it. Um, another guy actually still has the car and he takes it to Import Alliance and Honda Day and things like that, so you might see it around. But the fact is, is that I've, I've wanted to go back to an Integra for a while for a couple reasons. One, you know, they're, they're just generally comfortable. They're a little more comfortable than a Civic and they have uh, things like power windows and a sunroof, which definitely make things uh, you know, a lot more easy, livable. Air conditioning is usually found with them and living in South Carolina, you got to have air conditioning. Uh, at least I have to, because I'm a chubster. So I've really either wanted to have a white Integra or a blue Integra, and this one kind of came up and I took the opportunity to get it. Um, so I'm super excited about it. I can't really wait to dive into this project. You guys can actually watch me start a project from start this time. Uh, if you're a new subscriber and you're new into cars, this will be a great little car because we're going to do a lot of little things before we start getting to the big stuff. Uh, so, you know, Stick with me on my journey to build this car, probably starting in January. Thank you so much for all the support of the channel. I know I haven't put a lot of videos out this month, but January should be on fire. Uh, get ready for every day or every other day posts. Keep your fingers crossed. But anyway, thank you guys so much for uh, all the support and follow me on Snapchat. Did you see that? Follow me on Instagram, Honda underscore street underscore garage. If you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to know, contact us through the Facebook page. Uh, a lot of people try to contact me through uh, Snapchat and the messages disappear and they're like, oh crap, what did you tell me? Can you repeat that? Just So uh, contact me with messages through uh, Facebook. It's a whole lot easier. Thank you guys for all the support. Stay tuned and, uh, and I'll see you next time. Peace!